Seriously, y'all have been asking me to do a room tour pretty much since I started my YouTube channel. And I'm happy to say I finally have a bedroom that I am proud enough of to share with the internet. Before we get started, I just want to give a little introduction to my room because it's not the typical aesthetic room that you'll see in a lot of room tours on YouTube. It's certainly not Pinterest levels, but I tried. I would love to have a room that is super minimalistic and has perfectly coordinated decor, but as it stands, half of my room is devoted to video production and the other half is devoted to cosplay progress. So I've had to sacrifice some of my decor coordination for the sake of functionality. That being said, I have had so much fun playing real life happy home designer these past three months, and I'm really excited to share my hard work with all of you. So without further ado, here is my bedroom slash sewing room with a touch of mermaid aesthetic. The first thing you'll see when you come into my bedroom is this little blue shelf. I have a few decorations on there like this DIY beach tea light holder that I made and these small porcupine salt and pepper shakers. Not really ocean-y, but they're cute. There's also a glitter jar that Brenda made me. If I'm ever feeling anxious before heading out the door, I give it a shake and it helps relieve some of that stress. I have two coffee table books on there as well. One about mermaid lore and another that's a five year daily Q&A journal. Moving on, I have a hanging storage rack on the back of my door. This is mainly for backpacks, purses, snapbacks, and coats I'm currently using so that I can just grab them on my way out. I have a really tiny bathroom, so I actually keep a lot of my beauty supplies in this little cabinet. On top of the cabinet, there are two drawers, one for circle lenses and another for nail polish, along with makeup bags that act as travel kits for false lashes or current circle lenses. Next up is one of my favorite pieces in my room, my makeup vanity. I've always wanted a vanity since I was a little kid, and now that I'm a grown adult, I finally have one. I love doing my makeup while sitting here. It makes me feel like a princess. I have all of my makeup organized in separate drawers based on what the products are for, like overall face, eyes, lips, blush, and so on. My larger eyeshadow palettes are stored in this letter sorter. Over on the other side, I have a little ceramic bathtub for my hairbrush and a few other grooming tools. And next to it, I have this DIY brush holder that I made using a vase and some decorative sand. And my little whale, Bubba, holds my beauty blender. Don't ask why his name is Bubba, it just is. Moving along to clothing. Since my closet is pretty cramped, I have a vertical dresser for the majority of my clothes. Despite being a fashion major, I really don't own that much clothing. Mostly because I live my life in leggings, muscle shirts, and sweaters. On top of the dresser, I have my jewelry organizer, this really pretty cherry blossom lamp, another beach votive, and a candle. Anyone who knows me knows that I am absolutely obsessed with candles, especially during the holiday season. Since it's autumn right now, I've got a vanilla pumpkin marshmallow candle in there. It makes the whole room smell like Thanksgiving dessert. And here it is, the super tiny closet. I actually took down the door because it took up so much space. The curtain is much more efficient and it looks nicer too. I have everything organized by shorts and skirts, tops, then hoodies. I try to keep it all in order by the color spectrum, but that is more hashtag goals than hashtag reality. Last up in here, I've got a cubby system for my shoes and any other accessories like scarves, mittens, and hats. All right, taking a break from the bedroom stuff, let's explore the half of my room that's more of a home office. First up, my printer stand, which is pretty self-explanatory. One shelf is for paper supplies, another for my fan mail scrapbook, and then currently this last one is being used for furniture supplies. And here is where I spend most of my time, my computer desk. This is where I do all my editing, scripting, graphic design work, and more. It looks nice now, but trust me, it's usually a total mess. As far as the top of my desk goes, I've got my tablet, my recording mic, and my webcams for streaming. Starting to bring in more gold accents, I have a few wire organizers too. 
one for chapstick and other little knickknacks, one for pens and markers, and one for mail, coupons, and anything else I should probably pay attention to. I also have this little decorative mug that I use for my wine corks, my wine bottle topper, and my wine bottle opener. Yes, it's important to me that these things are within arm's reach. Lastly, over here, I have my little waste bin tucked under the desk, along with a basket for any electronics like my external hard drives, portable chargers, and headphones. Right next to my computer desk is my sewing table. Obviously, I have to keep it close to my computer for Twitch streaming, but it's nice because it gives me a lot of open workspace. First things first, in the top drawer I have a file sorter where I can keep any current patterns or other documents I'm working with. There's also space in here for additional fan mail that I haven't put in my scrapbook yet, my collection of cosplay cards, and wig styling supplies. Underneath on the shelves I have my sewing and fashion books close by for quick reference, as well as my Copic markers and fine liner pens for artwork and planner decoration. On the bottom shelf, I have space for any prop and armor materials I'm currently using, like Thibra, my iron, and a bin for miscellaneous supply storage. I also keep my file folder of planner stickers and washi tape tucked under here. And of course, my sewing machine takes front and center stage. I keep my thread box next to me for fast threading changes, and I have a pegboard where I hang all of my scissors for easy access. If I'm in the middle of styling a wig, I usually keep it on the stand here too. Up above, I have a wall shelf with a lamp, and the rest of my sewing tools. You all know about my love for coffee, so I thought it would be cute to use a variety of coffee mugs to keep my tools organized. To keep myself motivated while working on cosplay, I have this photo hanger where I post my favorite Instagram pictures from conventions and other fun times with friends. Also tucked in this corner is my bulletin board for keychains, charms, and buttons. I am stupidly proud of this thing, but it's also like, Wow, I clearly have a spending problem when it comes to Artist Alley. One of the main features of my room is my giant display shelf. On top I have some inspirational plaques that Beth gave me along with my little unicorn lamp. There's one last beach votive that's sort of a placeholder for right now, and to the right I have my more expensive Disney keepsakes. The shelves themselves are devoted to my figure collection. I change how these are organized pretty frequently, but for the most part I have my Disney Inesco cube, my free cube, a miscellaneous anime cube, a cube for square enex, crungier figures, a cube for idols and cute nendroids, zoids, more random anime stuff, Pokemon, and Legos. There's also two empty shelves just to plan for the future because I am sure I will accumulate more figures since I have a terrible problem. The last row has bins that are for current cosplay projects, just to keep all the materials organized and out of sight. If you haven't noticed yet, my bed is lofted. This is actually a children's bed from Ikea, but it really helped solve a lot of my space and organizational problems. It also gave me space for this cozy plushy nook. If there's anything I love more than figures, it's stuffed animals. So I set up this little relaxation spot where I can work on my planner, read, or play Animal Crossing. The thing I love most about this bed is that it came with a built-in bookshelf and cabinet. I have all of my favorite books, manga, DVDs, and more organized on the shelves, and then I use the cabinet to store all of my filming equipment like my tripods and light stands. Last but not least, I need somewhere to sleep. To tie in the ocean theme one last time, I have this beautiful watercolor quilt and a mermaid pillow that Beth found for me. The mosquito net is my finishing touch. I wish I could say it's only for aesthetic, but... Honestly, it's because I'm scared of spiders. So that is my room tour. I am so excited about getting to live and create in this new space, and I'm so glad I was able to share it with all of you. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of my new room is, and with that, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!